Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm Marcus Grayson. I'm a member of the Church of Christ, but I'm also a business owner. I own Homecast Media, and I help businesses do media production. I also help churches get started with live streaming and other type of media production. Today, I want to show you how to do a simple setup so you can go live. Right now, I'm here at my congregation at the Brandon Church of Christ just outside of Tampa. Right there, you see my setup. I have a camera, a professional camera, and I have a laptop. Now, I'd prefer to use Apple products because they're a little easier to set up. If there's someone on your staff who's really comfortable with PC, then get a PC. You may save a few bucks, but my recommendation is to get an Apple product because they're a little easier. Also, understand this. This is not cheap at all. Uh, if you're planning on doing professional looking live stream, plan on spending at least a thousand dollars. That's going to include your camera, your laptop, and also you need Wi-Fi. Uh, hopefully you have Wi-Fi or some type of internet connection at your church building. If you don't have these items, then your only way to do live stream is with a phone, kind of like what I'm doing right now with this phone. One key thing to look for when you are looking for a camera, it must have HDMI. This is HDMI. HDMI is the same connector that you use for your, your flat screen TV at home, all right? Your camera must have HDMI out. You see that there? This is how you get that signal from this camera through this wire all the way to your computer. Now, before you go to this computer, there's another adapter. This is called the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. So here's the HDMI cable. It goes to the mini recorder. You gotta have another cable. It's called, this is Thunderbolt 3. And so you don't have to use this connection exclusively. There's other connections you can use. I'll show you another one here in a minute. But then you go from here all the way into your computer. And I'm using what's called USB-C. Again, if you use PC, find out if it has USB-C on it, you'll be a lot happier. If you don't, be careful. Like I said, I use a Mac. Here's my Mac computer. If you don't want to use this mini recorder, costs about $145 just by itself, then you can use what's called a capture card, which is the same thing. It's just a little cheaper. Uh, the quality is not as good. This is my backup capture card for my camera, but I also stream. I use this for other purposes. We'll talk about that in a more advanced class. So there you have it, a very brief overview. I emphasize brief because though it looks easy to put on a high quality uh, sermon or class, someone behind the scenes did a lot of work. If you want my help, call me. I am a consultant. I will help you get your system going. If you're in doubt, you just want it cheap and fast. This is the way to go. If I can help you, give me a call. Thanks.